On Health Watch, uh, learning how to uh, stay safe in a pool or any body of water is critical, especially as we enter summer and a hot day like we got today. Yeah, certainly. According to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, drowning is the single leading cause of death in children ages 1 to 4. 10 News anchor Rachel Lucas joins us now with more. Yeah, it's a terrifying close call reminding parents just how critical water safety is, especially this time of year. We're about to show you dramatic new video showing a father saving his two year old daughter's life, reviving her with CPR after she nearly drowned in their family pool. NBC's Morgan Chesky shares what families need to know. I never ever in my life thought that would happen at my pool with my kids. A family's worst nightmare unfolding in their North Carolina backyard. Gaston County 911. Oh, uh, yes, uh, we, we, the kid fell in the pool. The baby fell in the pool. Two year old Mila Shortridge swimming with her siblings and friends. Have it fun on Memorial Day. When a fun weekend became a fight for survival. I actually was sitting like in this very spot. Right here, and Mila's father Matthew says he was keeping a close eye on the pool when he briefly turned away. Home surveillance video captured what happened next. I heard my 10 year old daughter Adeline uh, scream out my younger daughter's name, Mila, like that. And I knew immediately that blood curdling scream, what that meant. I saw my daughter Mila floating in the pool with her head down and her arms like this. I immediately jumped into the pool. Matthew and his wife Amy, both medical professionals, are also CPR certified. I immediately started mouth to mouth. I started breathing in her mouth and my friend immediately started chest compressions. I heard a cry and I heard her try to cough. And when I heard that, my heart just filled with joy so much that she was saved and she was alive. Mila survived. But the CDC says drowning remains the leading cause of death for children ages one through four. And that number's on the rise, spiking by 28% between 2019 and 2022. Which is why safety experts say layers of protection are crucial, starting with supervision. Have adults take turns being the designated water watcher. And in public, always check for lifeguards and where they're stationed. Next, barriers. Residential pools need a fence and self-locking gate. And consider alarms on doors that lead outside. And finally, get CPR certified. It's vitally important to do breaths as well to make sure that oxygen is getting to the brain. We have minutes when we're talking about a child who's been in the water or anybody for that matter. Experts say with the right knowledge and training, lives just like Mila's can be saved. She spent one night in a hospital, but since then, has made a full recovery. Her parents and sister hoping their story helps others. Everybody needs to be around their little little sister or brother that can't swim well. I want everyone possible to know CPR because it really does save lives. 